हेलो फ्रेंड्स मोस्ट वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मैथ्स बाय समित देशमुख टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग एग्जांपल नंबर सेवन फ्रॉम एक्सरसाइज 3.2 पॉइंट टू सो ऑब्जर्व हियर वन ट्राइंगल इज गिवन टू अस इन दिस ट्राइंगल ए बी सी इट इज गिवन टू अस दैट कॉट ए कॉट बी कॉट सी आर इन अर्थमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन यूजिंग दिस कंडीशन वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर सी स्क्वायर आर आल्सो इन अर्थमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन सो फर्स्ट लेट अस रिवाइज सम इंपॉर्टेंट रिजल्ट व्हिच यू हैव डिस्कस अबाउट अर्थमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन सपोज दैट ए बी सी are in arithmetic progression if these three terms are in arithmetic progression at that time they satisfy which condition difference of any term to its previous term is constant it is the definition of arithmetic progression and you have studied about arithmetic progression in detail in class 11th also and even in class 10th also so difference of this term to its previous term means b minus a will be equals to this difference means c minus b difference are what constant so here b it as it is minus b on this side will become plus b and minus a on this side will become plus a so what result we are getting 2b is equal to a plus c means if these three numbers a b c are in arithmetic progression at that time twice b means b is nothing but middle term so twice b is equal to a plus c this condition is satisfying means if terms are in arithmetic progression at that time we can say that this term is satisfying or if this this equation or this equation is satisfying at that time we can say that terms are in arithmetic progression okay so using this result we which we have studied in arithmetic progression we are solving this example what is given condition so cot a cot b cot c are in are in arithmetic progression it is given to us since these three terms are in arithmetic progression that's why which condition is satisfying here that twice cot b is equals to cot a plus cot c okay so now we are let us denote it by equation number first so to solve this example we have to convert the trigonometric equation in terms of what a b c because required result is in terms of a b c and to solve it we we have to apply sine rule and cosine rule so first write down the sine rule so by sine rule let us see what result we will get so our sine rule is what sin a upon a is equal to sin b upon b is equal to sin c upon c is equals to k so see already we have written sine rule in different form when we are writing it in this form if we will if we have to convert this trigonometric equation in terms of what a b c at that time write down a b c in the denominator and if a b c we have to convert it in terms of trigonometric function at that time write down a b c in the numerator and trigonometric function in the denominator so this implies that so we have denoted this ratio say by k so from this equation we can say that sin a is equals to a will get multiplied on this side so that is a k sin b will be equals to what b k and sin c will be equals to what here sin sin c is equal to ck let us denote this result say by equation number 2 so from equation number first let us see what we will get from equation number first to keep it as it is this cot can i write it as cos upon sin cos b upon sin b cot can be written as cos upon sin on this side also cot a can be written as cos a divided by what sin a so plus cot c can be written as what cos c upon sin c okay just simply we have converted it in terms of what sin and cos so that we are able to apply sin rule and what cosine rule now first simplify it to keep it as it is so cos b upon sin b also as it is on this side we are taking cross multiplication what we'll get here cos a into sin c plus on this side sin a into cos c just simply we are taking cross multiplication and in the denominator we will get what sin a 
into sin c. Now, if you observe the numerator very carefully, it is in the form of sin a into cos c plus cos a into sin c. Means sin a into cos b plus cos a into sin b is the value of what? Sin a plus b according to compound angle formula or which is also called as addition subtraction formula. Means numerator will get replaced by sin a plus c. In the denominator, sin a into sin c keep it as it is so which is equals to again in the numerator this sin a plus c whenever two angles are connected by what plus at that time we are able to use this result that a plus b plus c is equals to what pi according to this result see what we will get here we are finding value of a plus c so a plus c on this side will become minus so sorry plus b we are finding value of a plus c so plus b on this side will become what minus b so on this side what we will get pi minus b or it implies that a plus c is equals to pi minus b so we are substituting value of a plus c is equals to pi minus b now according to allied angle formula sin pi minus b is equal to what sin b pi minus b means second quadrant and in second quadrant value of sin is positive in the denominator sin a keep it as it is sin c also as it is and keep this left hand side also as it is what is left hand side 2 cos b divided by sin b so 2 cos b keep it as it is so this sin b into sin b so here we will get sin square b and in the denominator sin a into sin c keep it as it is now whole expression is in terms of what sin and cos now we are able to apply sine rule and what cosine rule so to convert it in terms of abc because required result is in terms of abc so cos b can be written as a square plus c square minus b square upon 2ac according to cosine rule and according to sine rule what is the value of sine b bk so sine square b will be equals to b square k square in the denominator sine a can be replaced by ak so it can be replaced by ak and sine c can be replaced by what ck now here we can observe that 2 2 will get what cancel what is the remaining term here a square plus c square minus b square upon ac and here also we can observe that k into k is what k square k square and this k square will get cancel after cancelling k square from numerator and denominator here we'll get b square upon ac now ac and ac on both side will get cancelled so what will get a square plus c square minus b square is equal to b square simply ac ac on both side will get cancelled this implies that a square plus c square is equals to minus b square on this side will become plus b square so b square plus b square will become what 2b square and if this condition is satisfying that 2b square is equal to a square plus c square means if this condition is satisfying that 2b is equal to a c at that time what we are saying abc are in arithmetic progression so here also if 2b square is equal to a square plus c square if this condition is satisfying we can say that it implies that a square b square c square are in arithmetic progression and this is the result uh, which we have to prove here so we have proved that a square plus b a square b square c square are in arithmetic progression to prove this result or to start the example we should have to know this condition and to prove our required result also we should have to know this result uh, related with what arithmetic progression see the example number eight in this example uh, what is given condition in this triangle ABC if a cos a cos a is equal to b cos b using this equation we have to prove that the triangle is either right angle triangle or isosceles triangle so now here small a small b is there to convert it in terms of trigonometric function we are using sine rule so by sine rule by sine rule we can we know the sine rule that a upon sin a is equals to b upon sin b is equals to c upon sin c. Let us denote this ratio say by k. 
so from this we can say that a will be equals to sine will get multiplied on this side means k sine a what is the value of b here k sine b and in the same way c will be equals to k sine c c is equal to k sine c okay now we are considering the given equation so what is the given equation a cos a is equal to b cos b now we are replacing this a and b by its value which you have got from sine rule so a can be replaced by k sine a into cos a keep it as it is on this side b can be replaced by k sine b and keep this cos b as it is just we have substituted the value of a here and value of b b is equal to k sine b here from both side can i cancel k after cancelling k from both side on this side what we will get sin a into cos a is equal to sin b into cos b now to arrange the term in the form of double angle formula i am multiplying both side by 2 let us see what we will get if we are multiplying both side by 2 on the left hand side we will get 2 sin a into cos a and on the right hand side we will get 2 sin b into cos b now we can observe that the terms are in the form of 2 sin theta into cos theta which is nothing but the formula of what sin 2 theta means the value of left hand side is sin 2 theta theta is what a here and value of the right hand side is sin 2b according to double angle formula this plus term on this side will become minus so on this side we will get sin 2a minus sin 2b is equal to 0 now we have arranged the term in the form of what sin c minus sin d means we are able to apply factorization formula and why we will require factor here because two terms are connected by what or means whenever we are finding factor and product of two factor is 0 means either first factor is 0 or what second factor is 0 that's why we are giving priority to find out factor here and in case of trigonometry factor can be find out using factorization formula now the terms are in the form of sin c minus sin d what is the value of sin c minus sin d is equal to 2 cos c plus d c is what here 2a and d is what here 2b upon 2 into sin c minus d means 2a minus 2b upon 2 keep the right hand side 0 as it is here this is your c and this is what d sin c minus sin d we have applied that factorization formula so keep this 2 as it is so cos we can observe that if we are taking two common from both the term that two will get cancelled with this denominator means what is remaining term a plus b and here after cancelling two from numerator and denominator we will get a minus b so therefore now uh, here keep two as it is cos whenever plus appears a plus b or b plus c or c plus a at that time use this result so that a plus b plus c is equals to a plus b plus c is equals to what pi from this a plus b is equal to what pi minus c so a plus b can be replaced by pi minus c keep this term as it is a minus b is equal to zero so here write down since a plus b plus c is equals to pi okay now we know that cos pi minus theta is equals to what is equals to minus is equal to cos minus cos theta cos pi minus theta is equal to minus cos theta into sine a minus b is equal to zero keep it as it is okay now here we can observe that product of this first second and third term is zero means any one of them is zero first term is non-zero means either this cos c is equal to zero or sine a minus b is equals to 0 means either this factor is 0 or this third factor is 0 and first factor is what non-zero number minus 2 is non-zero means either second term is 0 or third term is 0 so which implies that we know that cos theta is 0 only if theta is equal to what 90 degree means this implies that c is equal to 90 90 can be written as pi by 2 or and if you'll observe this term sine theta is equal to 0 when the sine theta is 0 if this theta is 0 degree means 
a minus b is equal to what? 0. So this implies that c is equal to pi by 2 or a is equal to minus b on this side will become plus b. So if you observe this result means two side two angles of this triangle are equal or one angle is of what 90 degree means one angle is 90 degree means triangle is right angle triangle or two angles are equal means triangle is what isoscalar triangle. Hence we can say that hence triangle ABC it's either either right angle triangle right angle triangle or two angles are equal means we can say that it is isoscalus or isoscalus or isoscalus triangle and this is the result which we have to prove here what we have to prove that triangle is either right angle triangle or isoscalus triangle see in the example number ninth uh, considering this left hand side we have to show that its value is equal to right hand side if you observe the right hand side very carefully a b c small a small b small c appears means simplifying this left hand side first convert this expression in terms of small a small b small c and later on we will we will try to convert it in the form of our required result first our aim is to convert it in terms of what small a small b small c now if you observe this left hand side cos a cos b cos c such type of trigonometric function appears which can be converted in terms of small a small b small c using cosine rule so before applying cosine rule first time multiplying by to, to all the terms in this bracket. So what we will get here 2BC cos A plus 2AC cos B plus 2AB cos C. So which is equal to 2BC keep it as it is. Now we are substituting the value of cos A according to cosine rule. What is its value? B square plus C square minus A square upon 2BC here plus 2ac keep it as it is now substitute the value of cos b what is the value of cos b according to cosine rule a square plus c square minus b square upon 2ac here keep plus 2ab as it is now we are substituting the value of cos c what is the value of cos c a square plus b square minus c square upon 2ab now here 2bc 2bc will get cancelled which are the remaining term b square plus c square minus a square this 2bc and 2bc will get cancelled here after cancelling 2ac from numerator and denominator remaining terms are a square plus c square minus b square after cancelling 2ab from numerator and denominator here remaining terms are a square plus b square minus c square now uh, all the terms are of a square b square c square and in our required result also required result is also in the form of what a square b square c square here we can observe that this minus c square and plus c square will get cancelled again this minus b square and plus b square will get cancelled again we can observe that minus a square and plus a square will get cancelled write down the remaining term so which are the remaining term a square plus b